there's this saying that used to be quite popular in activist circles, I don't know if it still is or not, which is uh, think global, act local. I don't know where it comes from. It feels to me like it might be associated with Stuart Brand, maybe the whole Earth catalogue thing. I don't know if that's the case, but uh, it feels like it comes out of that. And it sounds like an unreservedly good thing at first pass. You know, if, uh, if everybody envisages the world in which you know, people are equal, everyone gets enough to eat, people treat each other with mutual respect, all those kind of things, and then you, so you imagine that world, and then you act with your neighbours um, in that way, so you're thinking globally, you're acting locally, then it'll be a good, a good idea. And I can see that there's an ethic based on that. The problem with it is that it demands that everybody has the same understanding of what an ideal world would be. Uh, but unfortunately, I know there are some people's ideas of what their ideal world would look like, what their global thinking is, which are uh, the complete opposite of my own. I know people who think that the ideal world is one in which there are only white people. And I know there are people in this world who think that women are second-class citizens. And that's their kind of global vision, if you like. And uh, to the extent that their local acts reflect their global vision, they act like racists and they act like sexists. And, uh, you know, I used to know a lad who, who uh, was a racist and he was... Uh, if you'd asked him, he would have liked to live in an all-white world. And was quite racist on a day-to-day -day basis. He wouldn't shop, for example, in the corner shop because it was owned by a Pakistani family. And he would walk an extra three-quarters of a mile to the next shop along just so he could buy his uh, cans of coke or whatever from a, a white shopkeeper. Insane, but there you go. But all I'm saying is that that's um, his activities and the activities of racists and sexists like that are based on this idea of thinking globally and acting locally. You imagine an all-white world and you're not racist to your neighbours. So I'm just wondering if it's worthwhile or what's what the outcome would be of reversing that paradigm and just thinking thinking through, you know, what would it be like instead of doing that would be to think locally and act globally. In other words, to derive a global vision from local appropriate action rather than deriving uh, local action from some kind of global vision. The reason why I say this is I think if you put your attention, or if I put my attention on what kind of things I need to do in order to be able to survive and thrive and be happy in my local environment, you know, and just dismiss for a moment any kind of prejudice that I might have, just put those out of my mind, uh, it would be things like shop at your local store because it's easier to shop at your local store than it is to walk an extra half mile to the next one along. Uh, it would be things like, uh, you know, help the guy who's next to me, who's, who lives in the house two doors down because he's in a position to help me. Uh, it would be those kinds of actions, basically, you know, golden rule reciprocation stuff, really. Uh, and it's entirely based on the, the local demands of highly contingent needs and desires. And, uh, and I can kind of imagine a global ethic built out of that, which is probably healthier, I think, than a, than a local ethic built or set of local actions built out of some highly variable global ethic.